Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Authentically Amber. I'm Amber. Hey, I'm out and about today. I just finished up physical therapy, doing my exercises. Um, full disclosure, my back is killing me. <laughs> my lower back is uh, in pain from my marathon sewing for that rag quilt. Um, my physical therapist says uh, 10 to 15 minute stints at a time for sure. So I will listen, I promise. But I'm out and about today. I just wanted to um, show you the before picture. This is my hair before. I'm getting ready to go see my hairdresser in just a little bit and um, get my blonde hair highlighted back. Um, last time I had it a little darker and she didn't put the blonde highlights in. Any blonde you see is from before. So. This is just too dark for me, even though my natural color is quite dark, but I haven't seen it for a while, but I color it because I have a lot of gray. <laughs> it's kind of silver. Um, my husband calls it, that's his wisdom. <laughs> but I wanted to show you, this is just my natural curl. I didn't do anything with it this morning because I knew I was going to see my trusty hairdresser why bother except I did straighten my bangs because if I didn't I would look like curly Sue um, with you know this curly hair being ringlets it's cute if you're six it's not so cute if you're 49 <laughs> but yeah this is the before picture and um, then I'll show you guys the after after she works her magic um, she just always does such a good job so Hope you guys are having a great day. It is almost 90 degrees here in sunny Florida. I was looking online and seeing there's snow out in the Midwest, Wyoming and uh, Colorado, I think. Um, so, wow, it's hard to imagine that. <laughs> With the weather being 90, 95 this week, it's going to be a scorcher here. Um, crazy hot, the air is pretty thick. Thank God for AC. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I will show you the after picture because everybody loves a good transformation, right? Um, hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Okay, so I just got out of the hairdresser and now I have my new improved hairstyle. Yay, got my blonde back. So she always does such a good job. She put some curls in it. And uh, I guess you can see, but um, left the low lights in there and styled my bangs for me, did my eyebrows. <laughs> now I'm all good for another six weeks or so. <laughs> uh, it started raining, uh, which is pretty detrimental when you have uh, curly hair because the straight hair wants to curl up with everything else. but. It stayed for the most part. So yeah, very happy with my color. Very happy. A little self-care today. It's always a good thing. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good day. Take care. Hi. So now that you've seen my hair transformation, I wanted to share something uh, with you. I get asked a lot about what do you eat when you're on Weight Watchers? So I wanted to share my meal plan for dinners for this week with you and maybe it might spark some ideas for you uh, to incorporate in your family's menu. So I wrote everything out here on my trusty clipboard so I wouldn't forget. <laughs> of course today's Tuesday so uh, Monday would have been uh, last night and we had hamburgers. I was going to do a meatloaf uh, but it wound up getting kind of late because I took a nap and um, so I decided I would just go with hamburgers and I wound up just putting them in the oven. So I used um, some of the kind of steak seasoning that we usually would put on the grill with the burgers, but I put that in there, just a little bit of ketchup, some onion powder, and um, some parsley, and then just made them up into burgers and they actually turned out really good. Um, I should have probably put a little Worcestershire sauce in with them, but maybe next time. But anyway, so I put those in the oven and we had those with uh, some green beans and also um, 
the cupboards were kind of bare. I needed to go grocery shopping, which I went ahead and placed an online Walmart order and my son is picking up this evening. But um, I wound up uh, opening some cans of navy beans and I put some chicken broth seasoning on those and it was very tasty, very delicious. So we enjoyed a good dinner. So that was last night. Tonight, uh, since I'm just getting in from getting my hair done and physical therapy and all that, it was not going to be a cooking night for me. Um, originally we had planned that my husband was going to grill, but he was late in a meeting tonight. So he is actually picking up rotisserie chicken <laughs> and a salad and some potato wedges from uh, Publix, which is our local grocery store. So that is our dinner tonight. Um, tomorrow night, Wednesday, I plan on making a chili and I'll briefly just uh, give you what I use in my chili. I like to use a variety of beans. So I'll put kidney beans, navy, um, Great Northern, Pinto, you my chili uh, recipe in a nutshell. I like to put kidney beans, black beans, navy beans, Great Northern, uh, whatever I have on hand. I just throw it all in there. I use V8 juice as my base and I put in whole kernel corn. Um, I'll usually throw a thing of salsa in there and some taco seasoning, some cumin, onion powder garlic powder, saute some onions and green peppers, and, uh, and then brown some ground beef, of course, and put some seasoning on that as well. So that is my chili in a nutshell, and then just let it simmer for a while. Um, the longer, the better. And it turns out really nice. We're always happy for leftovers the next day for lunch and dinner, however long it will last us. Um, but that is one of our favorite meals so that's tomorrow so thursday um i have on here sicilian chicken soup and this is based off of carabas they have a sicilian chicken soup that i love so um a couple years ago i looked up online for um, the recipe you know for the of course they don't promote their recipe but a knockoff recipe that's very close and I actually like my version maybe a little bit better than Carabas, which that's pretty amazing. I'm not like the world's best chef, but I like it. But uh, you start with a base of um, onion and garlic. So I saute that first in a big pot. And then you start building your, um, your base your, with some chicken bouillon. And um, then I'll you know cut up all the veg and add some water, of course. Um, maybe saute some celery in there as well and cut up all the vegetables. I like to put carrots, onion, oh, I already said onion, sorry about that. Uh, uh, carrots, potatoes. Um, you can really put whatever vegetable you have on hand. Like right now I have some frozen butternut squash cubes that I need to use up. I'm going to throw that in there. Um, and then of course cubed chicken so i would go ahead and cook that and just cut it up into cubes and put in it um, also you can put um, petite diced tomatoes in it which is nice and some basil and you know just whatever seasonings you like um, garlic onion powder um, and it just works up into just a nice hearty chicken soup. So if you're watching from Colorado or Wyoming where they're getting snow right now, um, that would be a great recipe for uh, Thursday night. <laughs> um, but unlike those parts of the country, we are like 90, I think it got up to 93 degrees today. So it is a scorcher today. But yeah, I'm having soup regardless. We run the AC, so it's all right. <laughs> but, um, and then Friday night we have slated, I have a whole chicken that I plan on baking. And I bought some sweet potatoes tonight um, that I will bake. And then we'll probably have some broccoli. I just wrote the vegetables, so probably broccoli and cauliflower. So that is my weekly menu for this week. Um, so hopefully this can maybe inspire you to 
do some planning. This is something that I am working on. <laughs> this is one of the weak links of my Weight Watcher journey, but I'm, I'm getting there. Um, used to sometimes it would be five o'clock and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to have for dinner. So I'm working on uh, baby steps here, guys. <laughs> if I can plan out five menu, five nights, then I'm doing good. And then Saturday and Sunday, maybe we'll have leftovers or carry out something. But I figure if I can work out five days, then that's a good starting point. So, um, and then a lot of times we can have leftovers the next day for lunch. My husband can take it for his lunch and my son as well. And um, so, yeah, it works out really nice to have those healthy foods on hand. So let me know in the comment comments below if uh, you found any of this helpful, if you liked any of the recipes. Um, what do you do that helps you with your meal planning? Let me know in the comments. And I would appreciate if you would subscribe, like, share, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a good evening. Stay healthy and stay well.